again, it's Phoebe on Sunday Studio. Right, today I've got this abstract set up. I've already done my preliminaries, um, just pencil. So I'm working quite large today. This is 26 inch by 41 inch. And what I've done, this is loose canvas, but I've masked the edges so I can get a nice tight edge. And um, I'm gonna model it on this little start that I did earlier which again is on loose canvas but I've taped the edges so it's nice and clean anyway that is still drying out so while that's drying I'm gonna set up my palette okay so I've already got white and black on my palette from using it earlier and I'm going to keep those colours so I'm going to try and use up the bits of the colours um, and this is why it's useful to have a little study before you start and um, choosing colours is one of those things that we always go for too much so I am basically limiting myself to what do we got we got a cadmium yellow it's, it's a pretty cheap, but it's okay, kind of paint, um, which is great for abstract, because you do tend to use a lot of paint. So I'm going to go for some yellow there. And also we have a blue. Where's the blue gone? that I used. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. All right, I'm just going to go and find my paint. Rule number one, make sure you've got all your mediums ready before you start. <laughs> I found it it was hiding. Um, I've done a, a little bit of tidying up in my studio today. That's always something that is super important. Um, if you don't have a studio space, then try and create just a little niche, at least where you can keep all your stuff for easy access. If you have a studio, keep changing it, keep developing the, the space, keep tidying, and um, it'll pay dividends to give yourself a space just for creating. Right, okay, so this is what my palette is looking like currently. So we've got phthalo blue here, cadmium yellow, white and black, but I'm gonna try and keep the black till the very end, um, which is mainly for highlighting. So, let's grab a palette knife and get going. Actually, you know what? I need a big one. So I'm loading up my palette knife, nice thick blob of paint. And I'm going to choose this line. A bit of shadow there. So I'm moving through this paint super quick. Okay. Give me a bit of shadow, right? Okay, so take that off a minute, and now I'm going in with some blue.
See, I love the way the palette knife will create these textures. Oh. Right, I'm back again. I've had a little um, break this afternoon because I got interrupted. That's the topic all unto its own. Um, dealing with distractions when you're uh, a creative is just part of the everyday fabric. So um, the good thing is today it's quite damp, so my paint actually hasn't dried all the way. So some of it's dried and some of it's still wet. So I'm going to go in with that in mind and um, we're going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to take a big brush now and water. The paint has gone off a little bit, but not so much that I can't get some nice drips and dribbles in there. Lovely. And as you notice, I'm using the gestural movements again, so we're involving the whole body. So it's Now I'm going to pick up with that wet brush some white paint. I'm just going to go in there and then, oh, I'm dripping all over the place. Right. So, yeah. Now. <clears throat> Back in with the palette knife, so I'm going to scrape. Some of that paint around. Cover the canvas. Right now, it's really added. I've really gone off piece here in a way because I'm not following the lines anymore. I'm more following that internal instinct to just. It's it's like a performance with um, the ineffable. This is what I'm saying about art it's it's the experience for the artist that drives you to do it again it's it's a great experience so now i'm gonna try and find some more definition lines i've got a lot of blue coming through i'm gonna add some white to that Again, I'm really trying not to overthink this. The hardest thing about doing this, and knowing I was going to do this today, the hardest thing was to try not to think about what I was going to do. So I did the little practice piece to just um, kind of condition my mind to get back in to the zone, basically. And if I get interrupted again, I should just take another break because then the, um, the paint will get a chance to harden off a little bit. So at the moment it's dripping all over the place and I'm inclined to do that. I'm just going to zoom in here. Oh, and this is lovely. You can see the paint starting to drip down. And we've got some real textures coming through there. So, okay, that's phase one of the painting. I'm going to take a break and go let the paint harden off a little bit and then we're going to come in over the top of the drier paint um, and this will enable some different types of, of work to happen um, because while the drips are going I really want the drips to to remain in this so it's it's starting to take on a wildish quality uh, and again I'm only using the two colours okay break time Right, so as you can see, I've added a little bit more to it. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it because I didn't have my camera on. Can you believe that? So I've just developed a whole extra bit without you being here because technology. All right, I need to check those numbers are moving and they're red. 
Right, so I just did a, a really little interesting spiel about colours again, but it's gone. So I'm just going to say, look, have a look where we are now. All I've done is gone in with the water and um, I've mixed all the paints together and we've got a great mess going on now. And it's drippy and it's wild. I love it. So take a look. So I hope you enjoyed that episode, um, I want to keep it short and sweet, but you see now we can leave this to dry out and I can go in later with um, some lines, you know, maybe some blacks, um, but basically go to the canvas, whatever you can find, get some paint, get some brushes and just experiment and have fun, okay, meet you in the space between. Just before you go, just one more thing. This is the best brush in the world. Please like and subscribe, hit the like button because likes matter online anyway. They don't matter anywhere else. It's nice to like people but you don't go around pressing people. But press the like button, it makes a difference. Peace out. One more thing before you go, if you like these pictures, then go to my website because I'm going to be getting all these done professionally for really good quality gicle prints. Gicle prints are the best for printing and they will last, they're colour fast, they're brilliant, the papers are gorgeous. So yeah, um, this was my test piece for earlier. So if you like that too, you will find all these on my website at www.pt artworks.com and you can find me on facebook at bright moon studio and this is bright moon studio uk on youtube signing out Bye.